Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be solving biology paper 2, 2019, May June, variant 1. That was so messy, I'm so sorry. Question number 1 says, the diagram shows a leaf on a plant. Which characteristic of life is represented by this diagram? So if we look at the diagram, we can see that it's taken in water and carbon dioxide to make sugar. So it's basically photosynthesizing, which is eating for plants, so nutrition. Question number two says, the diagram shows how Homo sapiens could have evolved from earlier ancestors. Which statement about modern people and their ancestors is correct? So, binomial system is basically a genus name with a capital letter and then a small species. So, if we look at the statements, they all have the same first name, which is the same genus and then different species because these second names are different same species but not the same genus but not the same species they do have the same genus so it's not D question number three says what's the structure navel X so if we zoom in you can see that it's like a lot of folds anything that's like folded that much is the mitochondria Ribosomes are obviously much smaller than chloroplast. Question number four says, which features are possessed by all plant cells? All plant cells. Now, in this case, a lot of people would just say yes and yes because plant cells all have cell walls and chloroplast. But this is actually a trick question because if you think about the root hair cell, they don't have chloroplast, so not all of them have chloroplast but all of them do have cell walls so the answer is B. question number five says the diagram shows part of the skin what is the correct level of organization for the skin it's an organ it's something that you just have to know because there's like multiple tissues an organ is basically made of a group of tissues Question number six says, the diagram shows a test tube containing clear jello. A drop of blue ink is injected into the middle of the jelly. The blue color in the ink spreads through the jelly. It's not active transport because there's no transport protein or nothing like that. It's not osmosis because there's no partially permeable membranes so as diffusion. Question number seven says the apparatus shown was set up. Some hours later, the water in the beaker had turned blue and the liquid in the glass tube had moved upwards. Which process caused these changes? The water in the beaker had turned blue. So the blue ink here had diffused outside. So it's not the water moving, it's the ink moving. So it's not osmosis, it's not active transport either because there's no like protein channels or anything moving so it's either C or D because it's diffusion and then the liquid in the glass moved upwards that's the water moving so it is osmosis question number eight says four solution were tested to see whether they contain protein starch or glucose the colors of the solution after the test are recorded in the table which contain protein and glucose but not starch so the BURET test is a test for protein it turns from blue to purple we do want it to have protein so we're going to choose purple so it's either c or d iodine is for starch it's from brown to blue black we don't want starch so it has to be brown so it's c Question number nine says, small molecules are used as the basic unit in the synthesis of large food molecules. So which statement is correct? Amino acids are the basic units of carbohydrates. No, they're the basic units of proteins. Fatty acids are the basic units of glycogen. No, because fatty acids are the basic units for fats. Glycerol is the basic, yes, because oil is a fat and glycerol and fatty acids are both in fat. Simple sugar is the basic unit of protein, no. Question number 10 says, the diagrams show a protease enzyme catalyzing the breaking of part of a protein molecule into smaller pieces. 
which diagram has three correct labels? Obviously, this is the enzyme, yes, that is not the product, it is not broken down. Enzyme, yes, that is the active site, that's not the product, that's the substrate because the product is right here. It's after it's broken down, this is the active site, active site yes, that's the enzyme, yes, so C. Um, this is the product, that's not the substrate. Question number 11 says, the diagram shows an experiment to investigate the balance between respiration and photosynthesis. In which tube are both photosynthesis and respiration take place at the same time? Anything with the black polygreen to keep the light out, photosynthesis is not taking place. And animals do not photosynthesize. Animals do not photosynthesize is the plant because remember that the plant is always 24-7 respiring. Question number 12 says, the diagram shows a cross section of a leaf as seen under a microscope. So it's not A. This is yes. That's the vascular bundle. More specifically, the xylem. And these are lower epidermis. Question number 13 says, the chart is used to find a person's recommended mass for the data provided about body mass and height, which person would benefit most from the introduction of a calorie controlled diet and regular exercise? Basically, they're saying who's fat. Um, so let's go for a body mass of 40, so right here, and the height of 1.55. No, body mass of 50, 1.75. No, that's the low mass, 17, 1.80, 17, and 1.8. That's ideal. So obviously it's D, there's nothing left. But let's check just in case 90 and 1.75, 90 and 1.75. That's moderately obese, so yeah. Question number 14 says, the cholera bacteria produces toxins that causes chloride ions to be secreted into the small intestine. So here's our small intestine. It causes chloride ions to be secreted how does this affect the water potential of blood in the intestinal capillaries and the intestinal contents? So since there's a lot of ions here, the water potential decreases because there's more ions, so there's less water. And then outside will be higher. Blood in capillaries will be raised. It's one of these. And then contents of small intestine will be lowered. So let's see. Question number 15 says that student investigated the breakdown of fats in milk by lipase. Four test tubes labeled A to D are set up. In which test tube will the contents become acidic more quickly? Acidic most quickly. And I was asking the question because once you break down fats, they broke down into glycerol and fatty acids. So it's asking which is broken down most quickly, basically. So it's obviously something that does have lipase. And obviously, bio, a greenish yellow secretion that's produced in the liver, and it's needed to break down the fats into fatty acids, so we do need it. So, the answer is A. Question number 16 says A celery stalk was placed into a beaker of blue dye. When the dye reached the leaves, the stalk was taken out and a section was cut as shown in the diagram. Which diagram shows the appearance of? So it's going to be on the xylem. The xylem is obviously not like the whole thing answer is b the xylem is always in like circular bundles called the vascular bundles question 17 says the table shows the rate of water flow through a tree over a 12 hour period what conclusion can be drawn for the table between 7 and 17 hours the rate of is continuously increasing increases 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 no the greatest increase in rate flow in a two hour period is between 11 and 13. Here's a 20, 20, 110, 50. Water flow is affected by humidity. Didn't show humidity at any point in this table. It is affected by humidity, but what conclusion can be drawn from the table? Question number 18 says, the diagram shows some of the transport tissues in a plant growth. Which row about tissues at Y and Z in the diagram is correct? Okay, so this is our root. 
here i'm going to draw it for you so as we said before the inside is always the xylem the xylem is always either in the middle or the top because it is the queen as i said before so z is the phloem and so it's not a or b the xylem obviously water so c question number 19 before i even read it we already know this is the question this is a capillary because it's small this is a very big loose this is a vein that's an artery so vein is w capillary is x c what's the name phagocytosis we already know it's eating it it wraps these little arm-like structures around it and then it digests it and excretes it out Question 21 says the diagram illustrates changes in air pressure taking place inside the lens during a complete cycle of breathing atmospheric pressure is under normal kilopascals at which point on the diagram are the rows beginning to be lowered beginning to be lowered meaning you are just breathing out you have breathed in so you did breathe in that's already done and now you decided to breathe out so this is you you're breathing in first so it's from high to low this is my in now you're breathing out one thing you absolutely have to look out is the titles on the axis because sometimes i would i don't know about you i would think it's like pressure in the atmosphere because they talked about the atmosphere so much but it's actually pressure in the lungs and it will give you the complete opposite answer because if it go for the atmosphere it'd be high to low but it's actually the lungs so it's from low to high so it has to be something that's going up to higher than the outside this is atmospheric pressure it had to be just lower and now it has to be higher so it's a and it's not d because in a it's being higher you need to end up being higher so that you breathe out and it goes outside higher than the atmosphere and in this case it was never higher than the atmosphere because the atmosphere is right here it's lower so it's not d Question number 22 says, potted plants are left for a week in a tank of water as shown. Why do the plants die? The roots do not have enough oxygen. This is true because the water is surrounding the soil, so there's no way for oxygen to really get in there. All of the plant cells need to respire. Roots do not have enough water. It's permeable, so they do have enough water. I mean, so it's not B. They have too much oxygen. There's nothing such as too much much carbon dioxide and also it's a question number 23 says which statement about both aerobic and anaerobic respiration is correct they both yes they both know that's only anaerobic they use carbon dioxide they don't use it only aerobic produces it they use oxygen the anaerobic means no oxygen so answer is a question number 24 says the components of a reflex are as shown in the flow diagram which component is responsible for ensuring that nerve impulses travel in one direction only the synapse this is kind of like a function thing that you have to know question number 25 says what's the function of the liver converting bile to urea no converting urea to amino acids no because that doesn't even happen deamination yes we all know that Question number 26 says, which statement about light receptor that doesn't rest in your open normal eye is correct? How I remember this is cones, color, you know, she believed, he lied, I'm sorry, but only work in dim light, you know. The rods are found in the fovea, they are in the retina, there are three types of cones, yes, there are three types of rods, you know. Question number 27 says, a patient is injected with adrenaline which graph shows the expected changes okay to pulse rate which will increase and blood glucose concentration so when adrenaline is released in your body or injected in this case your body wants energy so it converts glycogen to glucose so it also increases so we just need graphs that both increase so here the pulse is increasing but the glucose is decreasing, so it's no. Here, the pulse is decreasing, no. Pulse is increasing, glucose, con okay, yes. Here, the pulse is increasing, but the glucose, no. Question number 28, does the diagram represents a synapse in the brain? 
involved in the perception of pain, which label molecule represents heroin. Heroin affects synapses in the brain. It fits into receptors that normally accept neurotransmitters called endorphins. These endorphins normally make us feel good, but heroin reduces the production of endorphins. So a person that's taking heroin will have fewer endorphins, and so they will feel awful suffering from unpleasant withdrawal symptoms. So for this question, we need to find a shape that matches the receptors so that it can fit into it. They have to be complementary. So we have to find something that kind of matches this, which would be a circle. Question number 29 says, a human zygote is a diploid cell. Which statement about human diploid cells is correct? They don't have a nucleus, no. They fuse to form gametes, no. Because the sex cells are haploid so that they can come together and form a diploid cell. The nucleus contains a single cell of chromosome, no. It contains two sets of chromosomes. Question number 30 says, which feature allows the sperm to dissolve the jelly? Is the acrosome on its tip, which then releases chemicals or enzymes to break down the jelly coating of the egg cell. Question 31 says, which statement about HIV is correct? It causes an increase in the number. No. It's caused by bacteria. No, it's caused by a virus. It stands for human immunodef... I don't know how to spell it really. Deficiency. Virus. It increases the ability to produce antibodies. You wish you would have been able to fight it, but no. It's transmitted through sexual contact. Yes. Question number 32 says the diagram shows the chromosomes in the nucleus of a cell that divide by mitosis. Mitosis produces genetically identical daughter cells, so it will have the same exact. Obviously, it's not this one, it's too less, not this one either. One of these two has this one okay this one yeah it's this one question number 33 says what happens as a result of meiosis diploid cells are produced no it produces haploid cells diploid and haploid cells are produced no it produces haploid cells genetically identical no they're different haploid yes question number 35 says which statement describe how a species becomes adapted to its environment to adapt to its environment, it can't change its phenotype, which is basically how it looks. It's gonna have to change its actual genes. So obviously it's not similarities, you have to be different to adapt. You have to change genetically so you can have a reproductive advantage. Question number 36 says, decomposers play an important role in the carbon cycle. They release carbon dioxide, which is the process responsible for this. Releasing carbon dioxide is respiration, just like us, they release carbon dioxide too. Question number 37 says, which term describes a group of organisms of one species living in the same population? One species is population. Question number 38 says, the diagram shows a bacteria, so which part of the structure is particularly useful in genetic engineering? It's the circular DNA, because they have the genes that allow for it to be transferred to other bacteria or it's even other species of bacteria. Question number 39 says, what can be managed sustainably? Taking coal, taking, taking wood can because you can just plant trees again. Taking all of these takes years for them to form again, so it's not very sustainable. Question number 40 says, large areas of tropical forests have been cleared to grow monocultures of palm oil plants which effect will this have on the ecosystem the use of fossil fuels in the area will decrease um no that doesn't even make sense i can't even explain why it's not that because it doesn't make sense why the use of why no i mean no not that. i even get why this is there so i can't explain it to you b says the use of pesticides in the area will decrease no, the variety will decrease, yes, because it's obviously a monoculture, so it's just one plant. Not only are the other plants not going to be there, the other animals that rely on those other plants that are not there are going to die, and the animals that rely on those animals that rely on the plants are going to die. The variety of species will increase, no. So that's the end of the video. If you like, please support the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Okay, see you in the next video.